Well, for the longest time, I've been advising people to buy long-term care insurance if you can afford it. And basically, that's still my conclusion after reading this uh, report, uh, but you can judge for yourself. The Boston College Center for Retirement Research says long-term care insurance only makes sense for the richest 20 to 30 percent of married people. It's better, they say, for the rest of the people to spend down their assets and get on Medicaid. Now, the study focuses mostly on nursing homes, and for that, it might make sense because Many nursing home stays are short-term stays, and they're covered by Medicare, and many uh, typically end in death, unfortunately. Uh, Only 13% of people in the country have long term care insurance. Yet, I believe that nursing homes and assisted living are becoming a little, will become obsolete and will be replaced with aging in place in the home. And unless that starts to become reimbursed uh, by insurance and Medicare, uh, assisted living right now, a lot of non-medical home health, it's all out of your pocket. And uh, really, it is about going broke and qualifying for Medicaid uh, and to pay for some of these things. And uh, some assisted living, most assisted living doesn't take Medicaid and uh, non-medical home health certainly doesn't as well. So you still need to, you still need money for something for your long-term care needs. Uh, I think this study is a little bit misguided and gives, uh, you know, a wrong uh, kind of attitude for people to have about uh, thinking about how to age and financially preparing for it. Thanks.